gives you lemons make lemonade this was my mantra from 2013 till 2017 and of course beyond but those were the most difficult years as a family because our daughter was undergoing severe health issues and as a family we were spending time going from doctor to doctor trying out different treatments we and we went to another different country and uh, hospital visits and tests to figure out what was really going on and how we could help her so if you have joined me live today i'm going to share with you three lessons that i learned when uh, you know managing my daughter's uh, health issues and that's so you know so if you are somebody who's undergoing some kind of health challenge or you know somebody who is then this uh, live session is for you uh, there are certain things that you will learn and you will take away from this which may help you to deal with your own challenges right so the year was 2014 and at that time my daughter was only 8 years old and she used to ask me often uh, you know mama when will i get better right when will my skin condition improve when will i be able to play with my friends uh, you know just and when will i be able to do the things that my friends do like swimming like she couldn't really go for uh, swimming because it used to sting too much right there were cuts and wounds and this was despite the fact that she was on very um, a strong immunosuppressive medications even then her skin condition was not really optimal but yes it helped us to keep it under control right so her struggles uh, you know uh, were quite intense and just the year uh, before that so in 2013 she had actually been hospitalized for a month with a life threatening infection and which she overcame uh, you know we dealt with it and we moved on but it was still really hard and we had an excellent team of caring doctors behind her but we had reached the limit of conventional medication uh, conventional treatments and it was only later in 2014 that i figured out uh, an alternative solution a more sustainable and gentle and long term solution for her in the form of functional medicine and it literally changed our lives but it was a long road it was a long journey uh, to the, you know to that point and um, you know so this is what this is what has brought me to till here it made me you know sort of take up functional medicine health coaching so that i could share with others with you you know a lot of the insights a lot of the solutions that are actually available to you but you may not really know about it right so um, so while conventional medicine is extremely useful for many acute conditions infectious diseases emergencies accidents you know all those kind of things which need immediate intervention it actually has severe limitations when it comes to chronic uh, illnesses right so whether it's eczema whether it's autoimmune conditions which is what i primarily focus on in my coaching practice Uh, so my clients are women with autoimmune and other chronic illnesses and they are in and when it comes to these kind of illnesses um you know diabetes cancer etc conventional medicine ha- you know has a lot of limitations and i always say that it's not an either or approach but it's usually yes and so you may need to rely on conventional medicine treatment medical treatment so that you get Uh, the medications and uh, it's possible to bring your severe symptoms under control and you know improve your quality of life in the short run but in the long run you would need to look at other um, solutions like functional medicine which deals with adre- finding and addressing the true root cause of disease using a systems biology approach where we don't look at each body organ or body part as discrete but they are all systems interlinked systems that all work beautifully together and when there is any kind of imbalances uh, dysfunctions that's when the trouble brews so after being in on uh, functional medicine protocol um, for 2 years in 2017 my daughter you know uh, Kate went off all her medications so she got off her steroids she got off her immunosuppressive medication because the skin was uh, you know the best that it had ever been probably in her life and uh, it was only recently during the pandemic that she had uh, another flare up after a long time uh, we do stress and other reasons and we had to put her back on medication but even that now we are tapering off so it was uh you know it's it's something it's a reminder it stands as a reminder that good health is not really some destination that you reach in the end right you know you, you will work and you will put in the effort and you will reach optimal health condition or good health <clears throat> or get cured in the end and that's it and then you don't need to do any, you know anything ever again that's not how it works chronic health does not work like that 
A chronic illness does not work like that and neither does optimal health. <clears throat> it's an ongoing journey and I always refer to it as a journey when I talk to my clients. I tell them that healing is a journey, right? And it's up and we must prepare for it accordingly. It's about it's not about reaching a particular destination and then sort of being able to remain stuck there. That's not how it works. So it's a journey. Uh, it's a process that you go through and there will be ups and downs. There will be challenges, uh, but we should not lose sight of the fact of why we emb embarked on that journey, right? Because usually, obviously, it is usually because we are facing some health issues. That is why we start taking active steps, but we should not you know, ever lose sight of that fact. And for example, in my daughter's case, it was for me, that journey was to find a more gentle and long term approach to this to her health issue. I realized that uh, because conventional medicine had its limitations until that time, I actually had never thought about this. So I realized that immunosuppressive medication and just suppressing an immune system was not the solution. There had to be another way, right? There had to be a reason why her immune system was behaving in this manner. And it uh, led me to functional medicine and that's what gave me the answers. And of course, uh, it may sound simple, but it uh, and in some aspects it, it is, but it's not easy at all to put all of this in place. So just to share with you in my coaching program, I, you know, it's a six month program and I take my clients on a journey uh, with me as their uh, coach, as their accountability partner, uh, as, as their mentor, as their guide. And I have a, th a unique three uh, pillar framework and the framework is called peaceful mind, healthy body because both are interlinked and interconnected. And the three pillars are reconnect, sustain and simplify. Uh, because I simplify health creation, long-term health creation for them, uh, you know, uh, and make it, you know, and show them a step-by-step -step process to actually work on their health. I um, and we look at it with different ways to sustain it, um, and you know, like self-care, etc., body acceptance, and then we also have reconnect, where we are reconnecting to our bodies, to figuring out what our bodies are trying to tell us. We are connecting all the dots. In, you know and figuring out what the pieces of the puzzle are it's like a it's actually like a uh, puzzle <clears throat> so this is the three pillar framework that I take all my clients through in my coaching program uh, healing from within and the reason I'm sharing all of this is because I find that many people many people who are dealing with any kind of health issues are really struggling to figure out what comes first then what comes next and which is why I chose to talk on this topic today what are the lessons that I learned and I'm going to share with you um, you know in a bit but these are also very very important aspects which I often find are missing from many other um, programs right so you know I've, I've been taking you talking to you about uh, functional medicine how it helped my daughter heal you know from within heal her very severe eczema get her off medications you know reverse her symptoms so that she has a better quality of life and even now we do we've had flared up but we are able to deal with it much better because her body is in a much much better place so uh, if you're joining me if you if you're watching this on replay do drop in any questions that you have any comments uh, below and i would be happy to answer that for you so one of the main themes, as I mentioned, you know, there are certain key aspects I find of this healing journey, this process that I find is often missing and people don't realize that need to focus on it as well. And one of the main themes because of that reason in my coaching program is self-care because self-care and I'm not talking about your spas or massages or pedicures or candle, you know, candle uh, lighting a candle that's not true self-care but self-care is what helps build you know resiliency emotional as well as physical resiliency and especially in this these kind of situations where we are dealing with chronic health issues there's a lot of stress of managing and living with any kind of chronic condition so building this kind of resiliency is extremely important because as i mentioned if healing is like a journey you will have you know your share of ups and downs right i'm sure you would agree with uh, with that and uh, so self-care helps you to also prioritize what truly matters right? it, you, uh, because there may, there may be 20 things you need to do, but you cannot possibly do all those things at the same time. So if you are very clear, then you can actually prioritize these are the first three things that I will focus on. And of course, increase your self-awareness and so that you can stay on track, right? It's not just about getting well, but it's all about it's also about staying well right so a lot of people actually get better like if you change your diet if you change some of your habits uh, if you start on some supplements do some testing uh, you know take some steps 
you will probably feel better right uh, and you will get better and which is really great but can you stay on this track for the rest of your life because a lot of these changes will have to be for life or at the very least for a long period of time right it has to become a way of life so your mindset has to change your habits have to change so all of these things um, play a very important role for sustainable health creation right so and this is where there is a huge gap that i find and i'm sort of working to uh, you know uh, sort of refine my coaching program to you know sort of bridge this gap so again focusing only on diet or only on supplements or getting off gluten getting off dairy these are all important aspects of your healing journey of any kind of dealing with any kind of chronic illness medications and treatments i've already mentioned these are all uh, things which are you know if you uh, which play an important role but they are not the only things right so laying a strong foundation and i keep talking about that laying a foundation requires us to focus on the basics and it may be very boring right it's much more exciting i find to do all kinds of tests and functional medicine testing and stool testing and dutch test and you know it's exciting right to do all these things it's exciting to make changes in our diet try new things those are all those are all important things but it's also important to lay a very strong foundation so a lot of so that's the reason in in my coaching program i lay a lot of emphasis on eating hygiene sleeping hygiene mindful eating mindfulness practices stress management exercises bedtime and morning routine rituals self care practices you know all these things are also interwoven in the, in the practice because these are you know really important for you to get well and stay well uh, change your habits create new habits and at the same time of course i'm making sure that you are having the diet or having the right kind of foods which are nourishing your body which your body is able to tolerate and digest and absorb focusing on your gut health so it goes you know honestly it goes hand in hand it's not one or the other right so give me a thumbs up if you agree with whatever i have said so far as i said if you have any comments or questions do drop in below and if you're watching this on replay i'll make sure that i'll get back to you and uh, so this is you know something that i keep reiterating without these it's very hard to sustain whatever improvement that you might make in the long run um and these insights the insights that i'm sharing with you i have learned um because of my own experiences with my daughter's health issues and also as a coach uh, because i have been coaching um, my clients since 2017 it's uh, now over 5 years and these are some insights that i have gleaned along the way that i'm sharing with you today and it's possible for you to have a better quality of life and it's possible for you to reverse Uh, many if not all your symptoms it's possible uh, for you to you know deal with these kind of health challenges but you need to know how i mean you need to know what are the steps that you need to take and you need to have a very different mindset of doing this so there were many lessons that were that i learned during this time many many lessons um i'm not going to share all of them because you know not all of them will be relevant and uh, as uh, valuable for you but i'm going to share you the sharing with you you know three lessons that may help you to stay focused may help you to remain motivated and become become more resilient no matter what health issue you are dealing with so no matter your diagnosis no matter whether you are diagnosed or not no matter whether you have a very very severe chronic illness or maybe you know you sort of are having some health issues today you know these these uh, three lessons will you know help you in some form or the other Uh, and this of course as i mentioned these are lessons that i learned when i was dealing with my own uh, daughter's health issues so these are more personal in nature so the first thing number one thing that i learned is always focus on the basics right so while we were doing many things while as i mentioned we did functional medicine testing we did stool testing for her we did uh, uh, urine metabolite testing for her so the, we did many many kinds of testing we added a, we had a supplement regime for her so many things we did right uh, i changed her entire diet she still of gluten uh, dairy and many other foods which did not suit her of course it's much less restricted now but it was very restricted for a while when we were actively trying to um, you know heal her gut improve her gut health Uh, but at the end of the day i i realized that i had to always keep an eye on the basics right basics means uh, ma making sure that she was able to manage her stress and as her caregiver i was you know i i had to manage my own stress levels to help her 
so if you are the one who's dealing with a health issue managing your own stress you know all the basic stuff right uh, eating properly eating on time going to bed on time sleeping on time making sure that your you know your sleep is taken care of so very very basic things uh, you know which sometimes as i said may sound boring but are extremely important so um, a consistent and regular self care practice can help you with this and uh, you know it can help you to minimize and cope with any setbacks because setbacks are a way of life right if we are alive we will be uh, we will be facing setbacks and especially if you are already going through a health crisis there will be multiple setbacks right so that's that's just how it is but what we can do is we can learn how to become more and more resilient and these small uh, action steps uh, you know and what i just mentioned focusing on the basics will help you to do just that the second thing is practicing regular self care and i i've already talked about it a bit but it's important enough to uh, be its own point uh, as a primary caregiver in my case in our case <clears throat> this was the second lesson that i had to take care and have of myself first and i had to have a consistent and regular self care practice in place now you may not be a caregiver but you may be dealing with your own health issues so your self care practice becomes really important and again self care does not mean need to mean uh, you know taking out a huge chunks of your time and doing something very complicated it's small it's actually the small things that matter it's a small things like as i said you know going to bed on time uh, maybe meeting finding ways to incorporate some joy into your life right so all these kind of things are very important and it is uh, you know you need to have this kind of regular self care practice and it has to be consistent and any again so uh, any kind of um, setbacks any kind of ups and downs you can only deal with it when you have this kind of uh, self care practice because it gives you the tools you know it only uh, sorry only then you can sort of uh, be able to deal with it when the time actually comes and lastly prioritizing what matters so uh, another lesson very important lesson i learned that in order to find out an alternative solution for my daughter's health issues find a solution that is uh, gentle and as i said more effective and less harmful i had to prioritize her health over everything else right so which means that you know becoming clear on and letting go of all other distractions so for the whole of 2014 for sure i only did focused on research i was but i didn't know about functional medicine at that a whole year to get to a point because it was so many years ago and honestly i did not have uh, you know anybody to guide me at that time nobody had uh, heard of functional medicine or i didn't know that you know diet could play a role for example or food could be used as medicine so i had to go through a whole year of research and the only way i could do that is prioritize my daughter's health over everything else and when we started with functional medicine it uh, took 2 years but eventually she went off all her medications and then a couple of years later i decided to use my knowledge and my skill set and my experience become a health coach and help others which is where you know i am in front of you today so those were very difficult years in our life especially for our daughter however we found a way to deal with it together and it took strength and it took determination and it took courage to get through this very uh, difficult time and we changed the way we looked at the problem right so that's something that i wanted to leave with we changed the way we looked at our problems we just you know started counting our blessings and we also started focusing on what we actually what was actually going well in our lives not just focus on all the things that were going wrong so i hope that by sharing our story and the you know the main three lessons that i learned from our experience from my experience you to find a way to uh, you know get through this uh, no matter what health issues that you are facing because as i used to tell my daughter often when life gives you lemons make lemonade right so that's what i want to end with today um i am opening up uh, about 10 slots over the next couple of weeks uh, and you know, scheduling and you can schedule a free 30 minutes discovery call to figure out whether you know uh, you are a right fit for this program because i'm going to be opening enrollment for the 6 month coaching program healing from within in february so i am going to be uh, you know sharing the link below but you can head to anindita.com forward slash call anindita.com forward slash call to schedule a free uh, 30 minutes discovery call to see if you would be the right fit for this program